Panthro sets out alone to look for precious minerals to power the Thundercat base, but a deadly encounter with a flock of vulture men spells big trouble for the lone Thundercat. We're going to talk about it right here in our review of Thundercats number 6 from Dynamite Comics. See you in 3. After the really strange one-shot last month from Stephen Mui, Declan Shalvey and Drew Moss return to the title for a panthro-centric issue that turns up the action and reveals a secret about Third Earth's history that could mean big trouble for the Thundercats going forward. Story-wise, Shalvey gives readers one big idea that gives the issue weight and importance, which is a good thing. But the issue is far from perfect. When last we left the Thundercats in issue number 5, guest writer and artist Stephen Mooney stepped in for a one-on-one -on -one coaching lesson between Lino and Chitara. The lessons Lino learned are straight from a Leadership 101 handbook, so that's all good there. But the arc took a pause, as did the art quality. So not a great issue overall. In Thundercats number 6, which is the current issue, Panther tells Wily Cat he's going out on a mining expedition to find Thundrillium. That's the element that powers Thundarian technology. Wily Cat offers to come, but Panthro says he'd rather go alone. Privately, he wants to spend a little alone time to blow some steam and ponder some of the events that happened recently, especially his mistakes. Declan Shelby uses the opening scene to establish three key bits of information. First, Panthro's self-reflection serves as a recap of events before issue number five break, which is helpful for new readers. Second, Panthro uses Wily Cat as audience insert to explain what Thundrillium is and why it's important also help for new readers. And third, Shalvi uses Panthro's thoughts to help evolve the character as he comes to term with the recent mistakes and what he chooses to learn from him. Panthro takes out the modified Thunder Tank to score the ground and gather up possible Thundrillium alternatives. But while he's doing that, his sensors detect a large mass in pursuit. He sees a large flock of Vultremen closing into the attack. What follows is a nearly issue-long action sequence of Panthro outdriving outsmarting and ultimately fending off the Vulturemen, except one he now holds captive for questioning. If you're a Thundercats fan and have been hankering for Thunder Tank action, this is the issue for you. Panther uses the Thunder Tank's claws to knock down stone overhangs, he pops wheelies, he does all the things the little kid inside would love to imagine doing when watching the original cartoon. Sadly, what should have been a super cool action sequence that lasts for a really long time in this issue, it doesn't live up to its potential due to the art, and we're going to talk about that more in a minute. The issue concludes with Panthro finishing his mining errand to learn the abundant materials he gathered up are a much closer match to Thundranium, not Thundrillium. The Vulture Men viewed the Thundercats as invaders with a very good reason that's kind of a surprise, and Jaga's intent to get the Thundercats to Third Earth grows a little bit more mysterious. The conclusion of this issue is almost a banger, but misses that bar of success by just a few inches. First, the entire plot concerning Mumra and Jaga is still on hold. I'm not sure what the holdup is there, but now you have two issues in a row, and it's only on issue six, and that's strange for an arc of any length. Next, Shalvi attempts to surprise the reader by revealing the ground is abundant with Thundranium instead of Thundrillium, but he doesn't take the time to explain why Thundranium is a big deal, or not, or why it's important, or why it's not important, or what's the story there. That seems to be some kind of serendipitous surprise, but he never delves into why. The pieces are there, but Shalvi fails to put them together in a way that grabs the reader and makes them feel excited or anticipate what's going to happen as a result of these discoveries. When Panther interrogates the captured Vulture Man, we learn a pretty big secret that opens up the series in a strangely intriguing direction. Now, if you don't want this spoiled, pause and jump ahead a few seconds. If you want to hear it, get ready for it, but if you don't want to hear about it, Turn your ears off. Ready? One, two, three. Third Earth has long been known to Thundera because it's a prison planet for banished mutants. So Jaga and the leadership at Thundera have been sending criminals to this planet for some time. Think of it as the interstellar version of Australia, if you want to think of it that way which could turn out to be a pretty big deal for things that happen in the future. And it also explains why there are a bunch of mutants on this planet. Overall, Thundercats number 6 is a decent enough issue in the series with lots of action, intriguing new developments, and a big revelation that has heaps of potential. That said, the big problem is that Shelby's execution is just far from flawless. This may be one of Declan Shelby's stronger issues in the series, but the art is where the weaknesses continue to crop up. You get blocky, flat figure work and panel compositions that are inexcusably flat on every page. 
The action choreography is inexcusably confusing in spots, especially when you have an action-heavy, action-centric issue like this one. And on top of that, Pignadoli's coloring is washed out and super bland. We've seen much worse art than this, but we've seen much better art as well. And the fact that Dynamite is shortchanging this series on the art is turning out to be a huge mistake. Let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture and talk about where this issue sits in the overall continuity. Even though that we had a little bit of a one issue, one off skip in issue number five, Shelby does do a solid job of maintaining consistency and by adding in this big secret, which we spoiled up above, if you've been reading along or listening, that really turns the tables as far as making this series feel like something that's much bigger and more, I would say, galactic in scale, which is good. Using Panthro to recount his past mistakes makes this issue actually a good jumping on point for new readers. And it's also a good character piece to build up Panthro and help evolve his character. So final thoughts, what do you think about Undercats number six? You get a Panthro-centric issue to help the character learn from recent developments. Puts him in the thick of an almost issue-long fight and then unveils in a very important revelation about Third Earth. All this is good stuff. The issue is one of Shalvi's strongest yet in this series. But a lot of the goodwill that's built up by a pretty decent script is offset by weak, flat, uninspired art. Therefore, we're going to give Thundercats number 6 from Dynamite Comics a 6 out of 10. What do you think? Are you enjoying this series so far? If you're an OG Thundercats fan, give us a thumbs up, let us know, and leave a comment below to tell us if you agree or disagree with this review. Also, remember to click on the link in the description to read the written review and order this comic if you're so inclined. Otherwise, thank you very much for joining and stay tuned through the outro for more reviews just like this one.